Yeah! Dear up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube Entertainment, hanging out in the Dear Up Workshop on a Friday. No place that do Up would rather be than right now with you guys talking Lucha Underground. That's right, every Friday, do Up talks Lucha Underground. Lucha Underground on the El Rey Network every Wednesday at 8 o'clock. Do Up in the do Up Workshop every Friday at 3 o'clock talking about what happened this week on Lucha Underground. And well, you know, every week I say it, but every week... I'm not lying when I tell you that every week Lucha Underground always delivers the action. I'm like, how is next week's episode going to be as great as what I just watched? And though it might not be as great as last week, like this week, great episode, not as good as Aztec Warfare, but still amazing action, great content, and always telling a story that Dear Up wants to watch. So, without further ado, without wasting any more time, let's get into the action that happened this week on Lucha Underground, yeah. Alright, so for the past couple weeks, Up has been telling you about this fucking white rabbit son of a bitch throwing promos out saying, we're coming. Well, the program starts off with this white rabbit trio, and they're here. That's right, the debut, in-ring debut of the rabbit tribe. That's right, it's, uh, Mala Suerte. Saltador, led by their leader, I suppose, Paul London. You remember Paul London? He got fired from the WWE for laughing during a very serious segment. We can forgive, but we will never forget that. That's right. So now, Paul London, along with his buddies, Malo Suerte and Saltador, made their in-ring debut as a trio. And you're saying to yourself, well, do up. As a trio, who did they fight? Oh, man. Well, they fought trios Champions, Arrowstar, Drago, and Phoenix. That's right. The trio's champions in the house to take on the new trio and debut of the Rabbit Tribe. And well, do up is dead serious when I tell you absolutely nothing impressed me about the Rabbit Tribe. Paul London comes out wearing this huge cod piece. I mean, it made his wing wang look like a bowling ball. And I gotta be honest, their in-ring wrestling debut, uh, not deserving of a title shot against the Trios Championship. Right, the only thing impressive in this match was the Trios Champions. Fuck yeah, and the Trios Champions kept their gold around their waist when Phoenix pinned, I think it was Salt to do her, pinned him one, two, three, got the win against the debut of the Rabbit Tribe. Now, do up will tell you that Rabbit Tribe has got a lot of work to do before they get their asses back in the ring in the temple. The next match was actually one of the best matches all night. I mean, pretty fucking fabulous. A while back, I think it was during the mass... To, uh, weapons of Mass Destruction match, Killshot versus Morty the Moth Martinez. Killshot had won, and his friend Dante had come out and kicked him in the mouth. And then they were trying to friends again when they were trying to get themselves into Aztec Warfare, and Dante turned on him again. Well, that led us to this match Dante Fox versus Kill shot. You want to talk impressive? How about the singles debut of Dante Fox? That's right. He's wrestled before on Kill Shot's team, and he came out and attacked Kill Shot. But this is his first singles match, and well, this bugger knows how to get it done. He gave Kill Shot a, a running apron, shooting star press. I never seen that in my life. Kill Shot answered back though with an RKO off the ring apron. Oh man, it hurt. This match got hot and heavy when Kill Shot gave Dante Fox an AA off the top rope onto the apron. Oh god, that looked like it hurt. And then he set him up coup de gras. But Dante Fox kicked up. Fox answered back to Kill Shot with a uh, seated springboard Spanish Fly C4. That was a lot to say, and well, it took a lot out of Kill Shot. Because right after that, Dante Fox set him up for the Fox Catcher. One, two, 
three. I told you Dante Fox knew how to get it done, and in his singles debut, he picks up the win against Killshot. Fabulous! That's the way to impress the believers in the temple. Do you guys remember Aztec Warfare when Black Lotus came into the ring with those three other broads and they beat the shit out of Pentagon Dark? Well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. That's right, next week. Black Lotus has wormed her way into a gauntlet match with those three broads against Pentagon Dark. So Pentagon Dark is not only going to have to fight Black Lotus, but all three of those other broads with Black Lotus. So it's kind of like four on one. Pentagon Dark is screwed. Mm, either way, that's what we saw Black Lotus and Dario Cueto talking about in Dario's office. Next week, gauntlet match. Black Lotus and broads versus Pentagon Dark. Ooh. All right, you guys, last match of the night was for the Lucha Underground Championship. And you're all like, do up, wait a minute, pump their brakes. Woo, woo, woo. It's for the Lucha Underground Championship. Sexy Star just won it last week, and now this week, seven days later, she's defending it. And, well, yes, you are correct. And uh, we to I told you guys... Last week during Aztec Warfare, Johnny Mundo, who's carrying around that Gift of the Gods championship belt, kind of like Money in the Bank briefcase, cash in for a championship belt whenever he wants. So he's got that Gift of the Gods championship belt. He told Dario Cueto last week, if he, God forbid, he did not win Aztec Warfare and become Lucha Underground champion. He was going to cash in his Gift of the Gods championship belt on that champion and get his match. Well, he got his way. Dario Cueto cannot deny Johnny Mundo of getting this match because he is the Gift of the Gods champion. Oh! So one-on-one, -on -one, Johnny Mundo versus Sexy Star for the Lucha Underground Championship. And well, this is what worried me at the beginning of this match. Johnny Mundo became the Gift of the Gods champion by beating Sexy Star for that belt. So what's stopping Johnny Mundo from using that belt to cash in on Sexy Star for her Lucha Underground Championship. Oh, well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. This match was a lot, a lot of Johnny Mundo beating up Sexy Star. And at the end, this match stumbled out into the crowd where Johnny Mundo was trying to get a crutch. You know, like, you know you step, you're walking on crutches yeah, because you hurt your leg. He's trying to get a crutch from a fan. He finally gets it. And, well, he doesn't get to use that crutch but it was all a distraction. That's right. As soon as Johnny Mundo got in the ring with that crutch, he was all amped up. The ref was trying to stop him. The fan that he took it from was wearing a sexy star mask like a fan of sexy star. And well, that fan wearing the sexy star mask clean sexy star's clock with a right hand. We later found out that fan wearing the sexy star mask cleaning sexy star's clock with the right hand. Well, number one, it was brass knuckles. Number two, she pulled off the mask and it was fucking Taya. That's right, because shortly after sexy star got nailed with those brass knuckles, Johnny Mundo threw her ass in the ring, gave her the end of the world. One, two, Three and new Lucha Underground Champion Johnny Mundo. Oh shit! Sexy Star, a seven-day Lucha Underground Champion Johnny Mundo picks up the win, cashing in his Gift of the Gods Championship belt, and we've got ourselves a new, another new Lucha Underground Champion. Well. Congratulations, Johnny Mundo. I hope you're happy. You had Taya in a sexy star mask, use brass knuckles to knock out the real sexy star, helping your ass to get a title. You didn't deserve, damn it, man. Do up his piss. Oh, man, am I fucking heated. All right, you guys, that was this week's Lucha Under Round. We got ourselves a new champion. We got ourselves a gauntlet match next week. We had some badass action with Dante Fox and Killshot. And we had a terrible, unimpressive debut from the Rabbit Tribe. That was this week's Lucha Underground. I hope you're watching on the LRA Network. Do up never misses a goddamn episode. That's right. So... 
Don't miss next week with the gauntlet match because Do Up will be here talking about it. Like this video, leave a comment if you haven't done it already. Subscribe for some more fucking Do Up, Johnny Mundo. Hell yeah!